Greetings everyone. I am Mr. Rishab Sanghai and my team are here to represent Atharva College of Engineering at SFIT's ESEL event Pragati 2021. Before introducing our problem statement, let me begin with an anecdote. It was during our trip to California that I lost my spectacles while playing on a beach. I was helpless and struggling to see things around me. Fortunately, we arranged for a spare spectacle and that saved my trip. The point here being blessed are those people who have a good eyesight. In the words of William Shakespeare, he that is stricken blind cannot forget the precious treasure of his eyesight lost. By now, you must have guessed what we are talking about. Moving on to the problem statement, globally 2.2 billion people suffer from vision impairment of which India accounts for 12 million individuals. Traveling alone and interacting with surroundings are extremely challenging task for these people. Constantly depending on other person for basic necessities is not always convenient. Moreover, blind people are often scammed and misled. Thus, they need assistance for security insurance to be self-reliant. The proposed solution herein is an AI assistant smart glass for visually impaired people. Object detection and recognition feature is provided to facilitate users in daily chores. Text to speech mechanism assists in reading texts from newspapers or documents and provides feedback through connected headphones. Integrated Google Assistant for delivering instructions to the blind person is provided and provides instructions via connected headphones. The SOS command mode is provided to contact the guardian in case of an emergency. Here is the block diagram of our proposed system. On the left, you can see the input peripherals which include the HC SR04 ultrasonic sensor, the OV5467 IR cut camera and Google Assistant APIs. While the right side indicates the output peripherals and all the outputs are given via connected headphones through text to speech mechanism. The computing platform used here is Raspberry Pi 4B model. Here is a list of hardware components along with the pricing list. Now, here is a list of softwares used in the development cycle. This is the circuit diagram layout used in the development of our prototype. Now let's move on to the flow chart. The user can initiate operations in any of the four modes mentioned below with the start command. The outputs and feedbacks for each mode are given using connected headphones via text-to-speech output mechanism. The activation and deactivation for all the operating modes are given via voice commands uh, which makes it easy for the user to implement this model. The four working modes include walking mode, reading mode, google assistant mode and the SOS emergency mode. A detailed explanation of these working modes will be provided by my teammate Shankar Varan. Thank you Rishabh. So let's check out the individual modes in details. The first mode, walking mode. It focuses on real-time image processing to recognize objects. Object detection is one of the core pillars of Drishri 2.0, especially behind walk assist and also the currency detection. Coming to the next mode, reading mode. Reading mode enables real-time text-to-speech conversion from any language to any preferred listening language. Moving on to the third mode, Google Assistant mode. We integrated Google API very closely with our compact hardware without compromising with any feature set. In our initial beta, we integrated functionalities such as calling, messaging, and navigation. We aim to design and develop special functionalities focusing on the needs of vision-impaired users. And the last mode of current release is Emergency Mode. Emergency Mode provides a simple yet most effective and impactful SOS delivery system to customizable recipients. We have also done market research of our competitors in this product line. Here is the brief description about them.
Trishti 2.0 promises to be an indigenous product at an affordable price compared to its market competitors. Here is the first draft of our business canvas model. The simulation and results will be shown at the end of this presentation. Here is the CAD model draft we built using Tinkercad software. We aim to make Trishti 2.0 modular which will provide easy upgradability and affordable repairing. Also, the model can be repurposed for different use cases with minimum firmware level upgrade. In such scenarios, the additional use cases will be warehouse inventory tracking using smart glasses just like the prototype at DHL Smart Warehouse and criminal identification to assist law enforcing agencies. We also plan to integrate features like Brailleboard integration, memory expansion to save long processing outputs, gesture control in further development cycles. This is the wide distribution of work among our team members. These are our achievements so far. Thank you. Here's a small demo of a prototype implementing the four modes. First, the walking mode uses object detection algorithms to warn the user about the obstacles in front of them, provides directions using Google Maps API, and provides feedback via connected earphones. Oh, sir, this is Edith. Do you want to know what can I do? Walking mode, object detection mode, currency detection, reading mode, emergency mode. Turn on walking mode. Okay, sir. Turn on object detection. Sure, sir. There is a bottle left. There is a lag top in front. Edith, stop. Okay, sir. Turn on reading mode. Purple. Purple. Edith, stop. Sure, sir. Initiate currency detection. 10 rupees detected. Turn on emergency mode. Alert mode activated. SOS started. Certain messages have been sent. 